Hello guys, welcome back. This is Amel and I'm so excited because I'm going to teach you how to do multiplication with MIPS assembly language today. Uh, as usual, don't forget to go to smartvania.com and well, first of all, open Mars, double click it um, and now we have to make a new file. So file, new. We have the new file, we have to save it. So click this icon right here, let me show you again this one right here and I'm gonna save it on the desktop and what I have to do now is give it a name I'm gonna name it I'm gonna name it multiplication that ASM and I'm gonna save it so now we can start learning how to do multiplication as usual we have our two sections that data and that text text for the instructions and data for the data in random access memory but in this case, I don't want to have any data in random access memory, so I'm, I'm not going to have any information here. So, um, first of all, I want to let you know that there are several ways to do multiplication in MIPS. Um, and I'm going to show you. The first way is MOL, and this takes three registers. Uh, the second way is MOLT, and it takes only two registers. Um, and the third way is shift left logical. And this way right here is very efficient, it's very efficient, but it doesn't give you as much flexibility as MALT or MAL. So I'm going to show you how to use the first way today. In the next tutorial, I'm going to show you the, next, the, the other ways to do it. So first of all, we're going to have to, we, we're going to have to have some values um, to multiply but I don't want to get the values from random access memory. So how do I get the values into registers uh, without using random access memory? Well, that's a good question. And for that, we're going to use add immediate. W what is add immediate? Well, immediate is just a constant or a number. So it can be number 10, number 100, or 50, whatever. So we say um, add immediate, dollar sign S0, OK. That assign zero, comma, ten. So what does this mean? So it means that okay, add ten plus zero and store the result in that in this register right here in the register as zero. So ten plus zero is ten. So move it here, put it in as zero. So this is just like moving it. So now we need another value to uh, multiply with. So this time I'm going to save it in dollar sign S1. The same thing, dollar sign 0. And the value, let's say 4. So I have 10 in S0 and I have 4 in S1. So now I have two numbers to multiply. So now I can do my multiplication. So I say MUL for multiply. Now I need the destination register or where I want to store the, the product of the multiplication, the result of the multiplication. So I say dollar sign, uh, what's this? No, <laughs> yeah, right here. Dollar sign T0, dollar sign S0, dollar sign S1. So mall dollar sign T0, dollar sign S0, dollar sign S1, what this is doing is just, okay, get the contents in S0, which is 10, and the contents in, S, in, in S1, which is 4, multiply them, so 10 times 4, and the product, which is 40, store the product in the last sign T0. And as usual, I'm going to show you um, how to print this out. So the last sign V0, loading media, the last sign V0, comma 4, I mean comma 1, to, for, to print out an integer to the screen. Um, add the last sign a zero dollar sign zero comma dollar sign t zero so with this line right here i'm just putting the value of the multiplication in a zero uh just as an argument to multiply i mean because i want to tell the system okay um uh, this is the value i want to display and finally i say okay syscall just to execute this command right here. So all this is doing is just display the product. 
so it should be here down here so let's do it I'm gonna save it I go to run assemble and then I execute right here and as you can see voila 40 so 10 times 4 is 40 so congratulations you now know how to multiply and I just want to let you know that there's one drawback here uh, right here there's a restriction you can only multiply um, two numbers um, the greatest range that you can multiply is like two numbers that are 16 bits long because when you multiply two numbers that are 16, 16 bits long uh, the result takes 32 bits and the result can be stored in one register but what if you want to multiply bigger numbers well you have to use another instruction and that's what I'm that's what I'm gonna teach you in the next tutorial so thank you for watching and see you next time